Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to share two air dry clay projects that I made. One is a trinket dish and then the other you can use as like shelf decor or wall decor. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start out with a boho slash Scandinavian shelf decor piece. The first thing I did was print out an art shape and I'll link one for you guys in the description box and make sure you print it out the size you want your piece to be. And then I also sketched out a little moon and if you don't wanna do a moon, you could also do a sun. And so these are gonna be our stencils for this project. I rolled out my clay and so now I'm just gonna put my art shape on top of it and then trace it out. Right here, I'm just blending out the edges with some water. I'm taking some more clay and then I'm gonna roll out three coils. I'm adding water to my clay to make it tacky and then take your coils and we're gonna place them towards the bottom of the arch and these are gonna be like the outlines for the small mountains or hills that we're gonna add. Here I'm taking off the extra clay hanging off and then I'm just making sure that everything is blended out well. So now I'm going to trace out the moon shape. And then you can also add like these little scratches like this onto your clay to make it stick better. And then I'm just gonna place this on my arch in the sky. And this is basically it. So do any last minute adjustments if you have any and then let this dry. Also, if you wanted to hang this on a wall, you could also like poke a hole in the middle towards the top to give you some room to string some cord through it so that it could hang. Two hours later. So here's our little art piece now that it's dry and you can go ahead and paint this however you'd like. I'm gonna take Deco Arts Matte Varnish to seal this and we're done. And I'm just gonna be using this as shelf decor so I'm gonna put this up against my wall but if you wanted to hang this on the wall you could also use like command strips. Okay guys, so for this line face trinket dish, I'm gonna be using this outline here that I bought in this pack of boho art prints on Etsy. I'll make sure to link this down in the description box for you guys. Anyways, I traced it out onto this piece of paper and then I sketched out like an ovalish, squarish circle outside of it. And yeah, this is gonna be our stencil. And then I also made the eye closed. So roll out your clay and then trace out your stencil. Before you lift off your paper, make sure to trace out the little face. And 
And then you can see the face here, and this is gonna help guide us for when we attach the face to the trinket dish. Using a dotting tool, I'm just gonna trace out the face a little bit better so I can see it better, and this step is totally optional. Here, I'm blending out the edges with some water. Taking some more clay, I'm gonna roll out a really long coil. I'm adding more water to my clay to make it tacky, and then I'm gonna take my coil and I'm gonna add the face. take some more clay and roll it out and then I'm gonna cut out this long line that you guys see me tracing out and this is gonna be for the border of our trinket dish once again I'm adding more water to my clay to make it tacky and then I'm just gonna attach the border and then I attached another strip to complete the trinket dish blend out anything else if you need to and then let this dry for a few days 8.01 p.m. Here's our trinket dish now that it's dry and I'm gonna sand a little bit of the border. And then you can paint this however you'd like. Right here, I decided to speckle the dish. Taking some paint on my finger, I'm gonna go over the top of the face. And then I decided to do the same thing on the top of the border. The last thing I'm gonna do is seal this with Deco Arts Matte Varnish and we're done. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!